you're here because you have a lean running engine. Long-term fuel trim was too high. Modern GM fuel injection systems operate on the principle of excess fuel volume. Unburned fuel is returned by the regulator to the fuel tank. It's either located on the engine or in the fuel tank, a returnless system. Find the Schrader valve, take off the cap, thread on your adapter, clean up any gas spillage. This is a safety factor. Fuel is flammable. Be safe. Then, with the key on and the engine off, check fuel pressure and compare it to specifications. Start the engine, check fuel pressure, and then compare it again to specifications. Remove the vacuum hose from the regulator and pressure should slightly increase. Make sure that no fuel leaks out of the hose. If the regulator diaphragm leaks, it can cause a rich condition. Here's an example of a fuel regulator that is leaking fuel. You can see that we removed the snap ring, turned the regulator upside down, and you can see fuel leaking out of it. In order to measure fuel leakage, you can install a container in line with the regulator hose and watch for fuel leakage and it will show up in your container. Replace a leaking fuel regulator. Don't go any further. Low fuel pressure may be caused by a bad regulator, low fuel pump output, dirty fuel filters. This condition may or may not set a lean code. Volume testing will help identify the cause of low fuel pressure. Volume testing at the Schrader valve. We're going to open the petcock on the Schrader valve. With the engine running, we're going to make sure that the gas will flow into an approved OSHA container. We want to be safe again. There are no hard specifications for volume. A good rule is that there must be one pint of fuel in 30 seconds. Now, on a high-performance engine, there should be one pint in 15 seconds. Low volume can be caused by dirty fuel filters, low fuel pump output. If volume is low, with a good fuel filter, go to fuel pump circuit testing. Fuel pump amps testing is an alternative to the mechanical test. Go to fuel pump amps testing to complete that.